Amazon in Ghana. In this video, I'm going to show you how to shop on Amazon and then ship the products to Ghana. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Amazon and how to get your products to your doorstep. Without much ado, let's start. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. So first of all, we need to create an Amazon account. We go to amazon.com and I'm going to put all the links to these platforms in the description area of this video. A bit of a disclaimer here. This video is going to be long because I want to show you from scratch how to go about this. Like a newbie who have never been on Amazon before. So you have a product you want to buy from Amazon. We are starting from scratch. And after this video, you'll be a pro and you can order your first product from Amazon and get it to your doorstep. So first of all, we need to create an account with Amazon. And we go to new customer, we click on that here, and then we start the process. We need to put in our name here, email address, password, and then we re-enter the password. I hope you have an email address and if you don't have one, you create an email right here. So we go to Gmail and again, I'll put all these links in the description area for your perusal. Gmail. So the email would be new and it's to manage a business, not for ourselves. So our first name will be shopping shopping in ghana so the last name will be ghana shopping ghana or in other words shipment ghana and uh, i would like to call shipment ghana at gmail.com let's see if we have that and let me put in a password and then we go to next okay the phone number, as you see, is optional. We can also put an email address, which, is, which can also be optional for this purpose because we are using an incognito window to create this account. For email, let's put in this email address. Okay, the day is 26. The month is October and the year is 2000 you should be not less than 18 years and the gender of course oh i'd rather not say <laughs> okay but we are male we don't want to go any gays here next so you see we have created an email address within five minutes who said you can't do this we are going to do just about anything to order our first product today there we have it our account is ready i want a comfortable one okay okay i go to the themes i always want a dark team so i prefer this dark one here and then i save there i have it so your primary tab is empty this is going to be our account for this purpose okay so then so our first message on our Gmail account, thank you for creating a Google account. Here is some advice to get started with your Google account. Thank you. We needed an email or Google account. We have it already. So then we can go for our email. So now the name is shipment Ghana and the email is shipment Ghana at gmail.com and at least it should be six characters so so we can create our amazon account to verify your email we have got a one-time password that is otp to shipment ghana gmail.com so let's go in there first of all let's add that to our password manager i use a password manager but you can always keep your password in your head 
Okay, so there you have it. This is the verification code Google just sent. We will copy this and then we paste it in here and verify. So there we have it. We have created our account so we can start doing business. Amazon is going to show us products they deliver to Ghana. Amazon has a product or a service they call Amazon Global and this allow Amazon to ship specific products to international or countries where they use not to ship to. So Amazon didn't ship to Ghana but now they would ship to Ghana and they have selected products they ship to Ghana not every product on Amazon catalog just about it's not even up to a quarter but it's quite substantial if a product can ship to Ghana whenever you click on that product it will show you that it hey this product can ship to your country so let's go into Amazon and try to order a product what product are we ordering I want one of my microphones for a colleague who wants to do video and I recommend the Audio Technica ATR ATR 2100 this is one of the best microphones and it's quite cheaper as well you see the price here which is the Amazon choice of price is just about $63 and you see the reviews always look at the star ratings and the reviews on the products before you buy I probably have to do a review on how to maneuver your way through Amazon but this is a quick tutorial on how to order a product quickly so let's say we want this product we click on the product and as you see here he says this product will ship to Ghana at that price $63 but you need to pay 100.16 US dollars for shipping and import fees you can look at the details here so the price is $63 Amazon global shipping that is the courier service is $48 and estimated import fees you do a deposit which is $51 and the total amount is going to be $163 for this product I wish the product wouldn't be this price but for customs and import <laughs> issues you probably have to pay for this and go your way if you need a product because shipment is quite reasonable $48 between $30 and $50 wouldn't be bad and the estimated import fees this there's a theory behind this import fees is charged by the receiving country that is Ghana for this purpose and is charged as a percentage on the products and it is charged on the price of the product so the price is $63 and they normally charge a percentage of that price I don't know how they calculate it but normally you are going to pay if not half you're going to pay almost the same as the product you bought that is the truth and is is there is only one one truth i'll be calling custom section of the irs and ask them how they calculate this so what people do is that they understate the real price of the products so that that duty or import fees will be reduced amazon used not to ship to ghana because of these things they they don't like these issues with shipments when people don't receive their products or people find difficult receiving their products but now they are doing a deposit deposit an amount they estimate that you'll be paying this is not something the IRS or the customs are giving them but they estimate normally you should be paying something like this for a Ghanaian pro a product like this so they estimate this if the product gets to customs and customs says the money or the amount you should pay is less than this they will send you back the balance and products that customs will charge tax on depends solely on them they don't you you barely know what uh, customs will charge tax on they don't charge 
owned some products and they charge on some products. I don't know how they do that. I think people need education on, on this because I, there should be at least a guide to show people that, hey, you should be ready to pay something like this for such products. You will not find these guys anywhere. The products will get to customs. They will check it and say, hey, this product you have to pay. This product you are not paying. This you pay. This you don't. Education is very low when it comes to these things. And people get frustrated. They are waiting for their products and uh, they are still having issues. So Amazon knows. Amazon is doing a fee deposit so that if it's less, you get your balance. And they make sure it's not going to be higher than this. If it's going to be higher, they will let you know. And normally, it's not higher because this is almost the same as the real price of the product. And the product is $63 and you are paying $51. <laughs> that is quite substantial. But this is great price for a great product. Mm, a great product. I'm using this. This is what I'm using for my video. And I'll put links to this product if you want one in the description. You, you can buy it immediately as your demonstration and see how best this is going to be so even before i started the simplest way to ship to amazon this is the first option to use amazon's own shipment and own import and duties calculator they have done that for you you do a deposit and you have your products this is one of the simplest ways Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.